Today we are doing the top 50 trading methods on Viva 17 in one video. Last time you guys smashed almost 6,000 likes on the top 20 trading methods. Now if this video hits 10,000 likes, I'm going to post a top 100 trading methods within two weeks. Um, obviously this video here took me also like almost a week to make. So it would be awesome if you guys could drop a like in the video. Let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. Let's get into this right now and uh, yeah, enjoy this long video. So the first method is going to be pretty simple. Just go to 250 coins maximum price and then just go to the silver you guys want to look after players that have decent leagues decent stats and if they do just place a bit on them for like 250 or 300 and i promise you they're going to be going for a lot more than that on the second method it's going to be a benfica striker method you just want to search up striker benfica 1.3k and there's going to be a few strikers that you can find on the market there's obviously going to be a few examples as well in this video of some amazing deals some of them obviously better than others but uh yeah i'm gonna be going through 50 different ones so i uh, hope you guys are excited about that anyway as you guys can see one of the strikers you can find which you're gonna be finding a lot is gonna be Jonas another one is Jimenez and the third one is Mitch Rologu there which I'm, I don't think I said right but anyway the, those are the three right there when you guys can find them there for example there we go 950 coins and I can pretty much sell them on right now already for 1.3k if not I can obviously try to sell them overnight for like 1.5k or something but not a bad trading method right there the third one is going to be a K-League method you want to go to this team which is called the Ewan Buck or something like that and uh, you just want to go to strikers once again and just uh, just go to like 500 coins keep on sniping and try to see if you can find some players I've seen a lot of this Brazilian guy appear for 500 coins that is the reason I wanted uh, to have this one in this video because you can actually find two different strikers the Korean guy and also the Brazilian one and the Brazilian guy actually goes more than 1,000 coins right now it's actually quite expensive so uh, if you guys want to try that out definitely try to get that Brazilian card and uh, sometimes you're gonna be seeing him for cheap on the market as you guys can see right there 1.2k is a lot for him right now and I don't think too many people realize that he's actually going for that much these days now the fourth method is gonna be a Barcelona method just go to like 450 coins and try to snap a few players you can find like three or four different non-rare players uh, with this method so just just go to like uh, a maximum price keep on going down just do some snapping and I promise you there's gonna be a lot of Barcelona players appearing on the market and you're gonna be seeing the likes of uh, the striker uh, which actually appears a lot you're gonna be seeing Suarez Mario Suarez I mean uh, a lot of different cards so uh, yeah just keep it going with this one and I promise you uh, you're gonna be finding some awesome cards you can even do that yeah there we go Mario Suarez Digne and these sort of players will appear a lot and uh, yeah just keep it going like that and I, I promise you they're, you're gonna be finding them for like 400 coins same with Real Madrid players as well uh, and they obviously are a bit more expensive for some reason but yeah just go to 550 coins keep on snapping like this and uh, you're also gonna be finding some awesome Real Madrid cheap players I think there's like three different non rare cards you can actually find so Real Madrid Barcelona go to like 500 coins do some sniping and I promise you if, if you find them for like 400 coins or cheaper that's at least like 200 coins per hour right there and uh, obviously right now we're starting off with some low budget trading methods so if you do not have too many coins this is gonna be a great method for you and uh, you can definitely make some nice coins we're gonna have a look at the players that you can actually find Casilla uh, Fernandez right there I know there's a couple more as well that you can actually find so uh, yeah just keep it going here in Real Madrid I tried to get a deal here for the video I just kept going here kept on uh, kept on trying to snap a player but I didn't have too much luck in this video unfortunately but I was trading actually really late as well so that might be one of the reasons but uh, yeah a lot of the time you're gonna be finding players same in Barcelona once just right now was not able to get an example but that's just how it is sometimes as you guys can see right there with Real Madrid players but uh, yeah you can find some awesome non rare cards and uh, they're gonna be appearing a lot in the market there's like three different ones you can find so that is not bad at all we're gonna have a look at right wings as well Brazil and silver actually and uh, this card right here is actually a very popular player to trade with I've been looking a lot around a little bit and you guys have also been tweeting me this method saying that trading with this guy is actually working really good and I have to say yes it is because this card right here you can either get him on a bid or just buy him you can go to like 700 Brazil right wing try to snipe him sometimes there might be even be more players appearing for like 700 coins or just go and try to snipe him or try to get him on a bid he is so easy to bid on you can get him for like 200 coins sell him on for like 500 coins not bad at all there and uh, also another pretty decent method if you guys do not have too many coins this is also a very great silver method you can see me right now just bidding on some decent BPL silver cards and uh, obviously you know 
not too many people are trading with silver cards this year so i feel like silver card trading is actually working a lot easier this year as you guys can see some of these are actually going for a lot like 3,000 coins on this guy so if you're able to get in for you know under 2k or something that is obviously fantastic or just you know trying to bid on like 300 coins for most of them and i promise you're going to be winning loads of them and uh yeah you're definitely going to make some awesome profit or, or you can even try to list them up for a little bit more than the silver cards because people do not really have a look at the price before they buy them silver cards are a bit weird to trade with this year but they still sell so uh, yeah not bad at all as you guys can see the next method is going to be a belgian method just go to like 550 coins and try to do some snapping in the 59 minute uh, i'm not too sure why this is working with right now but i've seen also lots of people tweet me methods about belgian players and i tried that out and yeah you can actually get some very nice uh, belgium cards there's a lot of you know belgium non-ray cards for example mignolet lane liverpool he's actually going for like almost 1000 coins so if you're able to get him that is awesome there's going to be some very nice ones here appearing on the market that are going for like 700 plus coins right now and uh, for example there we go 500 coins on that guy he was not on any of these pages so obviously it's going to be going for a bit more not bad right there and that is going to be the uh, eight method for this video we're going to be sticking with the silver cards for now but uh, this one you need a little bit more coins to do go to 10,250 minimum by now price so you do not get up all of the really bad um you know inform cards and stuff like that as you guys can see right now you can actually find a lot of you know rare silver cards that you know has been out for a couple of weeks you can find a couple of the new ones as well but you guys want to have a look at the ones that have been out for a couple of weeks and that are quite rare on the market for example you can see me just going through the market this guy here called ninga uh only had a few cards on the market so if there was one there for like 10k cheaper obviously pick him up get him right away this is how you pretty much just go and get amazing silver in from deals you just go to the market go to compare price and see what they're up for and sometimes i promise you you're gonna be seeing some absolutely awesome deals on the market so yeah that was the ninth method guys this is the tenth one for this video we're gonna have a look at sporting players and as you guys already know this i made a video about this like a week ago and uh sporting players are working so good they've, they've even actually gone up right now they're like nine thousand coins almost ten thousand coins which is insane obviously that is because it's quite building challenge but that is a lot of coins right there as you guys can see i actually picked up that guy there for 5k sold man for 8k main 3k profit which uh, is not too bad either guys center midfielder german bpl gold it's gonna be the next one you can find either schweinsteiger or emre chan obviously you're gonna be finding schweinsteiger the most but sometimes there's gonna be some very cheap emre chance for like 1.5k 700 coins uh you know 800 coins whatever you can find some pretty awesome deals by doing this and uh, not many people do really know about this sniping filter either so either um schweinsteiger or uh emre chan is gonna appear with this method as you guys can see there's 700 coin bid as well so yeah these cards they do indeed have a low buy now price of like 700 coins so uh yeah there's gonna be a few ones listed up for that price but the most are going to be seen in for around a thousand coins but still not a bad method right there we're going to have a look at the next one which is going to be trading with really low rated players and yeah i'm not too sure why is this working now people actually really want to get almost the lowest rated players on the market as you guys can see that guy if you have him in your club just check out your club and see if you have any really low rated ones because they are going for so much right now this guy right here is a bronze card He's, he's obviously on the game. He doesn't he doesn't even have a card in the market, guys. He's got extinct because he's a very low-rated card. 45 rated, which is one of the worst rated cards in the game. Now, if you have a, a, a card below 46 rating, I promise you right now, they're either extinct or going for like 5k plus. So, yeah, try to do some trading with those. Pretty crazy stuff right there. Next method is going to be in the Argentinian League. We're going to go to a club called the Huracan or something like that. Anyway, you guys can see it on the screen right now which club that I do indeed mean. Now, these have gone up in price because of the squad building challenge as well and you can get them for a decent price you can even try to get uh, the silver cards and stuff for you know around 200 coins because they're going for around 1000 coins but obviously you're going to be seeing a few of them uh, up on the market for cheap as well even the bronze cards are still some uh, some pretty nice deals you can get them for like 200 coins and try to sell them on for like 500 coins or not or something but yeah the silver cards are actually working pretty well there's going to be lots of people that do not realize that these cards are actually going for a thousand coins i didn't even know that if i hadn't searched up the club before so uh, yeah not too bad right there and you're definitely gonna find a few ones there on the market for very cheap now the next method is gonna be hunter gold and just 2000 coins you want to have a look at strikers or forwards not really focus on the center backs or you know the wing backs because the hunter chemistry style is pretty much designed for the forwards. so just have a look and see if you can find any awesome strikers or center forwards or something like that and obviously go and pick them up for a decent price and i promise you they're gonna be selling for a lot more just have a look at anyone right now on the market as you guys can see for example andre gay is a great example right there he's going 
going for like 2.7k and I've seen lots of cheap Andrew Gates. I think I even picked one up in a Hunter card uh, for this video. So yeah, 2.8k right there, not too bad. If you see one on the mark for like 2k, that's not too bad at all. You can even sometimes see them uh, cheaper. For example, in I think I made a video about them at a couple weeks ago and I picked up a person for 1.4k. He was going for 3k, so uh, yeah, very happy about that method indeed. The next one is going to be right back and just go to like 350 coins. Very easy method actually. You just want to go 350 coins right back and uh, not really put in any leagues or uh, yeah, just go to gold really and you just want to keep on refreshing the market here. Try to see if something appears and obviously if there's a player from like the league 1, the BPL, something like that, obviously try to pick them up right away because you're going to be going for a lot more. Now there's actually one right there but I was super slow to react to that one but uh, he actually is from the league 1 and I think he was going for like 6 and a coin something so that's not too bad there either. You can also do this with left backs. Just go through 350 coins and it pretty much works the same with left backs. You can see I actually got myself a, a Spanish card right there which uh, was from the Spanish league so um, yeah not too bad. He can definitely send for some nice coins and I'm uh, very happy about that one. So uh, yeah right backs and left backs 350 coins easy as that and you can find some pretty nice snaps and sometimes there's obviously going to be some very nice ones as well appearing on the market. Now the next method is going to be one that we also have done before to be honest but it's such a long time ago. It was at the beginning of this year and this method guys I can say right now it still works. I just got myself a 73 Speroni which is much better than the rest ones there. For 200 coins just go 250 coins BP on silver and yeah it still works guys pretty well. Not as good as before but still works pretty well. Definitely gonna have a look at that. Next one is gonna be gold, BPL, Chelsea. Just go to like 1,000 coins and there's gonna be lots of these cards bearing on the market. Chelsea is one of the best clubs to snap with these days. So uh, yeah, definitely give that a go for 1,000 coins. Next one is gonna be a very easy one. Just go to Spain, gold and 400 coins. Easy as that. Try to have a look and see if you can find any strikers or CAMs because they usually go for a lot more. And yeah, just wanna snap, uh, snap, with, uh, snap with Spanish cards. Easy as that. Just go to the nation. You do not really have to put in the league. Just go to 400 coins. Spain and you can find some pretty awesome snaps with uh, with that club as well They have some very nice non records that usually appear in the market next method is gonna be a manager one And uh, we're gonna be doing uh, Jurgen Klopp for this one because he's a he's a manager that I know the price of and uh, He's obviously working pretty well. You can do this with any single manager that you want to though I'd recommend to do this with a one with one that calls for at least 2,000 coins And that's probably rare on the market because they're gonna be listed up a lot And those are even more popular than the non records uh, on this game for example Mourinho is also gonna be working uh, pretty well as, as Jurgen Klopp in this video. As you guys can see I go to 2.5k, I have a look and there's actually one there for 1000 coins but obviously I was almost 10 seconds late so uh, yeah that's pretty much what you guys want to do though. Have a look at the lowest buy now price of the managers and in that case Jurgen Klopp was up on the market and uh, the, the managers are working really well to trade with this year and uh, there was one there for 1000 coins which would have been some awesome profit but I was way late to, uh, to get him right there. Now the next method is also going to be a sniping method. We're going to go to position modifiers 750 coins around the price where they just just figure out a position modifier that you'd like trading with the most because these get listed up all the time that's what's fun about these they get listed up at least one card every 10 seconds so it's always fun to trade with these and sometimes they obviously are very cheap sometimes they're not but just find one that works good for you uh, out of all of the position modifiers and I promise you they're gonna be so much fun to do because they always do indeed get listed up on the market now this is one of the best methods for this video, we're gonna go to gold center forwards and you wanna have a look at the uh, rare cards and see if you can find them on the market. Even the normal cards that have been converted from a whole different position. For example, Firma here. They could have been pretty good, but I promise you guys, the uh, rare cards, they sell for more and they do indeed sell faster as well because the center forward cards are a bit difficult to sell on. As you guys can see, they're center forward gray for only 650 coins for this video, which is an amazing deal right there. And I got them there obviously in the 59th minute. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, without doing this method, I would not be able to find him. And obviously, I can make some pretty nice coins on him. And uh, yeah, that, that's one of the only ones that was on the market. 1.3k was the next one. So I can easily double my coins on him. And obviously, Orvigi and the Slimani was also center forward right there. But I just list them off for a few hundred coins more. Because I know they're going to be selling on popular players. And uh, they do not have that many center forward cards on the market. So I uh, definitely going to have that a go. And you can even do this with silver cards, as you guys can see right now. Just go to silver. And you want to have a look at the BPL and the League 1. Because those are the 
other two leaks uh, in the game that really worked the best with this. And uh, yeah, they're one of the biggest leaks as well, which is good. But the BPL works really awesome. I picked the one out there for 600 coins. Next one is 1.8k. Obviously, not gonna be able to sell around for 1.8k. That is a lot of coins right there. But maybe sell around for around 1,000 coins. At least making like 500 coins profit, uh, which isn't too bad on that card. And as you guys can see, League One only had one card there on the market. The other leagues right there, they do need to have quite a few cards on the market. You can, you can actually maybe do this with the Spanish League because they only have like one card right there. So sometimes he might be on for cheap, but uh, pretty much the BPL and League One works the best. And I actually got one there for like 16 coins. Next one is going for 1.8k. So I can obviously sell them on for some nice coins. But uh, sometimes the Cineform cards takes a while to sell on, especially the Silver cards can take a while. But still, they're eventually going to sell on. I love this method as well. Left forward gold and 1.5k. You can find some awesome left forward cards on the market. For example, Musano right there wasn't too bad. He was actually going for around 2,000 coins. So it uh, could have been better, but still uh, not too bad right there. You can sometimes find the rare cards for like 900 coins. Uh, as you guys can see, actually, in a couple seconds, I get a pretty nice deals by doing this method. Um, as you guys can see, just right forward, left forward, easy just that, around 1,000 coins. And uh, I actually get one there for 950, which also, you know, is a nice deal. But when I came back, there was one there for 700 coins. And uh, that was Promise, which is not a bad card at all. He was actually going for over 3,000 coins. So I can actually make myself some very nice coins in the market. Over 2,000 coins profit on him. I even had a look at him on the market uh, this time because I was like, this guy is actually really good. So I wasn't too sure how much he goes for. But yeah, as you guys can see right there, around 3,000 coins. One there for 2.9k, which was listed out for very cheap. But uh, yeah, that is amazing though. Picked him up for only 700 coins, guys. And I can sell him up for that price. That shows how good this method actually works and uh, yeah left forward right forward never disappoints definitely give that a go as well we're also going to be having another spanish sniping method but this time we're going to be in the bpl and uh, you guys can see a card here appearing very soon which is the one that usually i i aim at because this guy here actually goes for like 700 to 800 coins sometimes this, there's going to be a couple more spanish cards as well and uh, non-race appearing on the market but not as rare as this guy muni actually appears a lot so uh, why not just go and have a look at a few others whilst not for Muni as so another decent method right there if you want to have a look at that and snipe with a few cheap players or we just well guys as you can see we have a center midfielder in him we're pretty much going to be converting strikers to center midfielders and sometimes you can get these for cheap now one of the regions in this video actually ended up selling off for 2,000 coins on a bid Im like imagine having him converted from a striker to center midfielder that's got to be like a few thousand that's going to be like at least 3,000 coins right there and our is going for like a thousand coins so that is like a 2,000 coins profit right there guys even you can you can see their inks was like 5,000 coins but one of the arranges right there innocent in midfielder I remember this right now ended up selling for only, only 2,000 coins so if you find any of uh, any of these cards on a bid I promise you go ahead and bid on them it is super easy to win them on a bid and not many people have a look at these cards and cinema feelers and stuff but I promise you guys if you list them up for the right price they are also going to be selling on next method is going to be a kit method we're going to be going to uh, Real Madrid which has one of the you know more popular expensive kits in the game and their home kit actually goes for more than 1,000 coins right now, but uh, these as well are really easy to win on bids, like surprisingly easy, and I actually won one there for 700 coins, you guys will see at the end of the video, I won a real Madrid kit there for 700 coins, and I can sell it on for over 1,000 coins profit, uh, or not 1,000 coins profit, but over 1,000 coins, so uh, yeah, that's not going to be too bad there at all. Next method is going to be a right wing back method, and I actually picked up a trippy year for 500 coins in the right wing back, and he didn't have any more cards on the market, so yeah, right wing backs as well also works pretty well, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be able to make some very nice coins and at least double my coins on that trip year card. Next method is gonna be Hunter Silver and just go to the big leagues really uh, because the silver cards sometimes are gonna be up there for very cheap with the Hunter card on them. You obviously need to see what they're actually going for because some of these silver cards might be going for a lot more, some of them might be going for not that much. So if you see them for like 2.5k or 3,000 coins, which is when you want to pay them up, uh, you obviously need to check and see if they actually go for that much because sometimes they go for like 400 coins and it's not really gonna be worth it. But other times they actually go for like 2,000 coins and even with the Hunter card then, that's like a few thousand coins right there. So if you find a card for around 3k, have a look and see what their normal card is going for and if it's a decent price, at least 1,000 coins, pick it up if it's under 3,000 coins. The next one is going to be Defender MLS uh, and this club right here, which I think is a New York club or something. Anyway, it's a sniping method. Just go to Silver Defender because right now I think there's a squad building challenge around these cards. So you can go to like 2.9k, keep on sniping here, and I promise you there's going to be NYCFC cards uh, being listed up on the market for 200 coins, 500 coins. Easy as that. People do not realize that the squad building challenge is out of this right now. I didn't even know that myself actually, but uh, yeah. 
you can get some nice deals in the MLS right now, especially from that club. Next method is going to be 650 coins bid, 950 coins uh, minimum buy now price, or 1,000 coins. Doesn't really matter. And you just want to go to the market, have a look at decent players from decent clubs, decent nations, decent, uh, you know, uh, stats, for example, good pace, and just bid on them. Easy as that. There's a couple bidding methods for you guys right now. 1, 2, 3 method as well. Always is a good classic method. You can find some 8 to 2 rated cards. For example, 8 to 1 Sherlock right there, which I think I actually ended up winning. For 1,000 coins, I can sell them on for like 1.5k. Lots of awesome high rated players. So you can pretty much get them for 1,000 coins or cheaper, and uh, that method delivers pretty well. Next one is going to be maximum price 1,000 coins, minimum price 2.5k. Also works very, very good. You can see lots of these amazing high rated cards, uh, decent pace rated cards, and stuff like that. Up for every cheap, like only 700 coins there for Kagawa, and uh, you know, lots of awesome. Uh, lots of awesome cards on the market for very cheap here. So I'm not a very good bidding method right there if you want to bid on cards and if you're a fan of that. But some of the, some people are not because they just like to snipe players and get them fast. But if you do like bidding, uh, that is always a bit more difficult, but still takes a bit more patience. But uh, if you do need to get some deals, they're going to be very nice. And you're able to make yourself some very nice coins. Next method is also going to be a chemistry style one. But uh, this time we're going to just have a look at the chemistry style. And Anchor is actually going for a lot. Uh, not many people did know about this, but Anchor is actually like 1000 coins plus. Uh, I thought that the Anchor one was going for like 200 coins something, but uh, the chemistry styles this year are actually going for a lot of coins because I think that they, the, the stats get boosted more or something. So just have a look at every single camera on, uh, on the game. Just search them up and just go through every one and see if you can find some snipes on them. I promise you the camera is all scale listed up so much this year. So if you just find yourself one, keep on sniping and I promise you're going to find some awesome deals. Send me a few on Twitter as well if you get them and let me know in the comment section which camera is all you guys are going to be trying. Next method is going to be head coaches. You just want to go to like 250 coins on the market. Go to the 59 minutes, see what you guys can find. If there is a rare card somewhere on the pages, pick that card up because it uh, you can actually sell them for more than 500 coins at least which is good so if you find a rare card here for 250 coins or less or you know for 300 coins or something pick it up sell around for 500 coins or more than that they still do indeed work pretty good to trade with the next method is going to be a snapping one cam brazil bpl 1.9k you can find some very awesome ones you don't have, you don't even have to put in gold you can put in whatever you want there just have it on any and sometimes you're even going to find a couple silver cards next method is going to be a brand new squad building challenge and i think uh, this this came out yesterday Today from when this video is up so right now just go to the tip league on go to the rules somebody because they have so many awesome uh, cards right now going for a lot because there's a brand new squad building challenge around them and you can get them for like yeah yeah at least when I recorded this video they were going for like 4,000 coins they're probably going for a lot more than right now uh, a lot more right now but they have a brand new squad building challenge so uh, you should be very good to trade with and uh, just you can even just go to like 200 coins right now snap tip, tip league on players uh, just get them for like silver cards or bronze cards whatever does really matter and uh yeah you can find some very nice ones there but mainly it was some body players is is going for a lot right now as you guys can see four thousand coins is a lot of coins right there so uh, even if you have someone of these in your club you might have actually have some in your club sell them out right now because they're never going to be four thousand coins again probably next method is also going to be a bidding one 300 coins and gold and you just want to have a look at the league sometimes if you do not really find anything when you just go to any go to the bpl go to a few big leagues because that's when you know the players are actually going for a lot and especially as uh, some of these clubs are are you know pretty decent and some of these players actually have decent stats for example the right backs they sell for more than 500 coins easy as that redman sells for like 700 coins plus and you had like i see ilori right there which is a liverpool card probably sells on for more than 400 coins as well so that is also a very low part of trade method but works pretty good next one is going to be special hunter and you just want to have a look at a few uh you know inform cards and stuff sometimes you might see a hunter card for under 17,000 coins that's a gold card or something. Pick it up. Have a look and see what the next info version is going for. For example, this Gomez right there. He was going for like 15,000 coins. And I'm not too sure if he had another card for like under 20k with a hunter card. So maybe have a look at him again. See what he goes for. And you can probably make some awesome coins on, on the inform cards with the hunter cards on. Next one is going to be another uh, inform bidding. Or not an inform method, but a bidding method. You can sometimes even find a few informs as well. If you go to quality any. But we're going to stick to gold. 2,500 coins. 5,000 coins. And 10,000 
Galaxy coins, and you can find some pretty awesome bins uh, while doing that as well. Now, this is also a good one, guys. Just go to any single any single club, really, in the Portuguese league, because they obviously have a squad within challenge. Now, these are at least going to be going for, like, 500 coins each. If not, I promise you, some of these clubs actually go for, like, 7,000 coins. For example, Sporting right now is going for, like, 9,000 coins. So, search up a few positions, search up a few clubs, and some of them, I promise you, they go for so much right now. Uh, even the bronze cards, I mean, they, they can be going for, like, uh, even 2,000 coins sometimes. So, just go through every single club, go through a few positions, go through a few things, and I promise you can find some awesome deals. Even, like, the lowest rated card right now is, like, 500 coins. Actually, I'll a pretty good, a good deal right there. So, I was still trading with the Portuguese cards. is working. And then uh, the squad within challenge is still around. I'm going to do the final part of this video live. Drop a like if you guys have enjoyed the video so far. And yeah, try some of the methods. Obviously, uh, there's so many methods in this video that there's not really going to be uh, any methods broken after this video. And uh, it's obviously going to work in a couple days even better than it will after this video. But still, hope you guys have enjoyed so far. And let me know in the comment section which one you guys have uh, liked the most. And obviously, drop a like in the video if you want to see that huge video coming up very soon. Now, the first method, guys, we're going to have a look at right now, which uh, I think is like method number 44 right now, is we're going to go to maximum price 500 coins and a minimum by now 1000 coins with silver cards so we're gonna have a look at a couple more expensive methods as well after this one right here now what do you guys want to do when you search up this method is pretty much just to have a look at in you now really decent rated you know silver cards right now 74 rated this guy plays in the uh, liga bbva as well uh, which was called last year now it's obviously called uh, the liga santa there but he plays in the spanish league so this guy can definitely sell on for like a thousand coins sometimes you might even just want to go to computer price and as you guys can see his price is actually 750 right there but it seems like you can sell them out for about 1000 coins uh, which isn't too bad so obviously i'm gonna place a bit on him right there and there's this actually a center back here with 79 pace um that's actually pretty good, and uh, yeah, he's he's not from the League 1, though, which is sort of sucks, so that's obviously going to take his price down, but he's still from France, so you can use him in the center-back position, and uh, yeah, 79 pace right there, that is indeed a very nice, and uh, going to be able to make some nice coins on him, if I'm able to win him right there, so uh, yeah, go out and try this method, you can find some awesome silver cards on the market, but now, it's time to have a look at a special card, we're going to have, we're going to go to around 10,000 coins, and right now, there are a couple of these uh, Movember cards out, so we're going to go, uh, we're going to go to the BPL 10,000 coins right there. Movember guys is out right now and there's a couple of these cards that are on the market but uh, I promise you guys you know, in like a week's time when it's not really uh, that much uh, you know popular like these cards anymore and they're not really I'm, I'm not too sure how long these are in packs and stuff like that but I don't think they're in packs for that much longer anyway when these go out on, uh, on packs I promise you uh, a couple of weeks after that these cards will be going up a lot more and yeah you're gonna see that these cards are actually gonna be going for like you know 14 15,000 coins because uh, when they go to like 14,000 coins right now you're actually gonna be finding a a lot more cards as well so what you could do you can either go down to like 12,000 coins and keep on snapping not died obviously go to the last page there guys of all of the Ledley cards and you want to go to the 59 minute to try to snap a few cards that get listed up on the market or you can actually go down to 10,000 coins but obviously right now that's not going to work as well because of the moment uh, cards um so uh yeah maybe try to do this method in a couple weeks but uh, what you pretty much want to do is snap a bpl uh in from cards for like 12,000 coins and cheaper and i promise you're going to be finding a lot Lots of awesome cards being listed up on the mark for like 10k, 11k, uh, prices like that. Uh, from the BPL and sometimes there's actually informs uh, that get listed up that are actually going for like 20,000 coins so uh, yeah not a bad method right there. Next method is pretty simple just go to 90,000 coins because that is the amount of coins I have right now. You, if, if you have for example like 100,000 coins go to 100,000 coins. If you have 50k go to 50k and then you just want to put in whatever you want right there. Just make sure that this is higher than 90k and the price that you got. Yeah 150k is not too bad so we're going to search up on the market and this is obviously the method if you have a lot of coins squeeze them right there. You can see a lot of these cards are going to be on the market and and uh, some of them are going to be having some awesome open bids. You just want to have a look at open bids, guys, because that is pretty much the only way you can trade with really expensive cards. So just go to a few of these cards right there. Try to place in a couple bids here and there. Try to win them. Try to win the special cards as well. For example, Libra probably goes for more than 500k. So if you're able to place a bid right there, that wouldn't be too bad at all. But uh, yeah, that is a method, good, good method right there, guys. Good bidding method if you have a lot of coins indeed. And uh, some of these are, you know, going for like 90,000 coins and stuff. So a uh, pretty good bidding method right there if you're interested. 
interested in bidding in very high rated players. You can also do this if you just want to have a look at informs go to special 100,000 coins right there and uh, you can pretty much search this up and you can see that you're only going to be finding uh, you know expensive awesome uh, inform cards right there. You can see immobile right there. So many inform cards on the market right now and it never stops either. It just keeps on going here. So this is also a good method if you just want to have a look at a few cards. Go to compare price. Maybe scroll to the 59 minutes. See if you can find a snipe in, in the 59 minute. Maybe there's one that been instead for cheap or something. Let's have a look at that right now. 119k. Not too bad but is there a cheap one? No. Not right now. But so still this is a method you guys can do if you just want to scroll through a few inform cards and stuff. Either place a bid on them or you know just go to compare price on a couple old inform cards and then you know go to the 59 minute and see if you can find one here for cheap. For example right now can we see one here for cheaper than 180,000 coins? Uh, let's have a look. 59 minute. Let's go a little bit further back here and uh, right now we cannot find anyone cheaper but uh, if you keep on going with this method and find a few more cards you can also find a couple of very nice ones for example this card for example is also a silver card new method right now we're gonna stick with the special cards special 5,000 coins maximum price easy as that and I promise you this is a good bidding method you want to bid what you just want to bid on every single card that comes up because these cards right now are going for more than 5.5k so even if I yeah I can win any of these no risk bidding right now I'm not risking anything because these go for more than 5,500 coins either so if I win them I can obviously sell them for that price if I want to as you guys can see this guy goes for like 7,000 coins so if I'm able to win it for that price that's awesome so yeah this is one of the best methods of this video obviously I picked up this guy yesterday for 5,000 coins and uh, right now I actually sold him out for over 6,000 coins today so uh, this is a good method you guys so you can just keep it going like this and the 2.6k open uh, it's insane so you can get some awesome bits on uh, with this method right there and uh, sometimes uh, you uh, you are actually gonna be winning them for very cheap as well but just go to your transfer targets and uh, go back in the pages here and uh, just see what you guys are losing out on and see what you guys are actually winning and if you do obviously get out bid pretty quickly just bid back be a bit aggressive here and do not let them win them uh, off you because as you guys can see this guy for example is actually going for more than 10,000 coins not many people will know that so uh, yeah this guy, this guy right there could also be a good one so special 5k is working really well and I recommend to give it a go now the last method for this video is going to be investing guys and this is the only investing method I've done in this video but I'm going to explain it right now so the player of the month guys right now we have a brand new poll out I'm gonna put a link on the screen right now I will also probably leave a link down below or you can just go to EA's Twitter or Premier League's Twitter and you'll find a link right there to the poll and you can just go and vote and I think this ends in like a week right now because of the international break right now uh, this weekend so it ends in like in one to two weeks uh, which sort of sucks but still when that comes out guys imagine if it's Hazard imagine if it's Coutinho we do not know who's winning that vote right now but what do you guys could do you can go and invest in a couple of cards maybe invest in a few Liverpool cards maybe invest in a couple of Brazilian cards maybe go ahead and invest in a couple Belgium cards as well reason for that is because obviously these are going up right now because people think that Hazard is going to be the next uh, the next part of the month card which I also think he will I think yeah uh, Hazard is going to be the next one so I I'd put my money in Hazard uh, I'd recommend to go and pick up a couple of these uh, gold cards maybe try to pick up like 10 of these or something so if you spend like 5,000 coins and when it comes out obviously as we saw last time with the sun and stuff like that the cards went up to like 7,000 coins which was just insane and you might want to pick up a couple silver cards as well uh, because they're also probably going to be rising so much up in price maybe pick up a couple players from Chelsea because you know Hustle is from Chelsea and a few things like that just invest in the cards invest in their clubs and nations and all that good stuff and uh, just invest in a few players as soon as it comes out obviously go and try to sell them on and uh, when it also comes out though it's going to be pretty good sniping method you can snipe with the nations uh, of the player that actually comes out as we have already done with the uh, sun and sterling when they those came out we had like manchester city players that we could snipe and tottenham players and stuff but uh, right now i recommend to invest and if you do indeed pick the right player then you're gonna be making some serious coins so that was it for this time guys thank you so much for watching some of the deals that i picked up in this video has been this guy this guy lots of awesome players right there and i've only listed them up for one time as well this is the first time of me actually listing these players up and uh, yeah this guy actually sold on which was very nice i think i picked him up for like 5k and uh, you know most of the players have sold on already obviously a few uh, oh, not many people haven't really sold on there's only been really these players right there that I haven't sold on yet but obviously the converted cards like center forwards and right forwards and stuff they do it in, in, indeed take longer to sell as I said in, er, er, earlier in the video so uh, yeah that is not too I'm actually very happy about that and I think I also have a couple bins right here and I've only really shown the customer that I haven't really been trading too much myself I've only shown how to do the methods and stuff so uh, right now I actually also have one 
quite a few cards here. Uh, we've won Castello, we've won Kone, Kagawa, surely for only 1,000 coins, and uh, obviously these cards as well. Uh, hard to uh, a, few, a few cards like this that uh, we picked up. This guy was from the Bundesliga and the FL Championship when we did the silver methods. I think we just went like 250 coins and uh, just bid on every, uh, on every uh, good card that we found from the big leagues and stuff. So yeah, that was pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you want to see top 100 trading methods. Probably going to be doing more expensive methods as well in that one. In this one, we just really did, you know, low budget trading methods. But in the next one, I suppose we can focus on a bit bigger ones. So uh, you guys can uh, you guys can also trade if you have like 500,000 goals plus. But anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time.